Hi agents, in this video I'm going to show you a very easy way to get the friendly fire disengage combination. If you go to your dossier and go over to the mission tab, it's in Falcon Lost. Uh, it also works towards your Falcon here, so complete all the Falcon Lost combinations. And it is this one here, friendly fire disengage, in Falcon Lost, group uses the APC to kill 15 enemies in one run. The objective in the top right says enemies killed by the APC in a in one run, a bit of a typo there by them. But yeah, you need 15 kills. Uh, a few people asked me i've been streaming the last few days helping with the happy and piggy mask doing a lot of folk and lost flawless and uh yeah people like how do you get that combination i was trying to explain it to them and i thought i'll do a video there's gonna be a lot more commendation videos coming from me it's been a busy month in march i haven't got a lot of content i've been streaming a lot but look out uh, make sure you hit sub hit like uh turn on notifications if you want to know when those videos drop i'll be covering a lot of commendations in the future um, so let's get into this combination, how to do it really easy. First things first, it says nothing about what will tier you need to be on. So you can be on any will tier. Now, uh, Falcon Lost and any other incursion, the minimum tier is 2. Because you can't unlock the difficulty of challenging otherwise. So you can't do it on will tier 1, but you can on 2. Uh, switch it to will tier 2 to make things really easy. Um, as it said, it's a group users. I suggest running this in a group anyway. Because it can be a little bit difficult solo, even on will tier 2. So get a buddy like I have. And... Um, you know, you can use three or four. Everybody will get the commendation that's in the group. And the builds that you want to be running is the defense builds uh, with the shields. So you've got a hell of a lot of um, uh, shield. Uh, health, <laughs> that's the word I was looking for uh, so yeah, run your defense build run it with your shield and run an immunizer station, the reason for the immunizer station is uh, as you'll see in a minute where we stand you're going to be hit, getting hit by the mortar strike so uh, that just helps things as you get hit by that uh, with your shield you're not going to be wanting to run your SMG, I know that's the whole point of the defense build, uh, the reason we're using this is because of the shield health, you want to be running with your pistol at a certain stage and i'll let you know when in the clip now uh other than that guys uh that is it that's uh, all you need to do i'm going to show you the very easy method to do this now uh, with dave say hi dave hi <laughs> okay we're gonna go now so once uh, you've got all that set up guys you just want to start the mission falcon lost Okay guys, early on in the mission you're going to get to this point and you're going to jump into this area. You just want to follow where I go. This is the spot you want to be. It's a sweet spot for this combination. Uh, and as I said earlier, this is really easy to do. I don't know if you can do a solo. Someone let me know if you can. I haven't tried a solo. It might be a little bit more difficult solo. Well, it will be more difficult solo. Um, in a group, it's much better to do and everybody will get it. Just for a medkit, Dave. I'm pressing the toggle on me controller. It wasn't working. So this is the area you want to be in. Nerdist back switch. And you just want to go to wave 4. So you don't want to do anything until wave 4. Just kill any NPCs that come at you. And I'll skip to wave 4 now. Okay, guys. So I'm now on wave 4. Uh, you're going to want to put your pistol on now. So when you've got your shield on, you can just go into cover. Uh, double tap triangle. Come back out of cover. And you'll notice I've got my pistol. Now all the enemies are going to rush you. you notice it's the bomb wave as well. Now what you don't want to do is plant the bomb. If you don't do that, these shotgunners that have spawned will keep on spawning. And just get them low on health. Yeah, make sure you don't kill them. And you'll see why. So you see this one I'm focusing on now. It's still got a little bit too much health there. You want to get a little bit lower than that for them to die from the mortar. Uh, maybe one more hit. Don't go for headshots. There you go. Look at this health bar. Now, the mortar keeps on hitting this area, and the shotgunners will obviously rush you into this area. So, the next mortar that hits is going to kill him. It should come any second now. Here we go. So, watch this mortar hit. And down goes the NPC. So that's one out of 15 for me and Dave here. We've both got accommodation already. You're not going to see it pop, but that's all you do. So we're going to work on more now. We're going to get the shotgunner's health low. And the reason, again, why wave 14 is... Uh, sorry, wave 4 is good is because as long as you don't plant that bomb, these shotgunners will keep on spawning. It's like uh, they, they won't run out. They'll keep on coming. So here you go. There's another. There you go, there's one dead there. We've got a couple more that we're working on. Uh, once we get through all of these, more will spawn, as you'll see in a second. We've got two that are quite low there now, waiting to die. Let's we'll start working on the third. You will kill the odd one by accident, and as you can just see there, the problem with global event strike, this makes it a lot more difficult. You do not need to do it on a global event. It's best to do it off of one. 
And there you go. I'm not even sure we've got our third kill there. So I highly advise doing it not on strike because their own explosions are going to kill them. But you get the point. You see how this is done. It is very, very easy to do. And we've run out of shotgunners. So what will happen in a second or two is more are going to spawn and run over to us. Okay, so more shotties have just spawned in and they're running straight to us. As you can see, we're still on way 4 and we, the boss is still alive. You can actually kill him if you want. He doesn't need to stay alive. Uh, but yeah, just rinse and repeat, guys. We're going to get more shotties health bar low. We've got more to kill them. As soon as 15 has died, the accommodation is going to pop up. So you don't need to finish the mission or anything like that. There. He is really low. That more is going to kill him. I know, I think you get the point now, um, if you, your shield starts getting low on health, but make sure you're running combat medic as one of your talents, because if I hit a medkit, oh, if I hit a medkit, you notice it just healed my shield, also in United Stations, you're standing right under the mortar, so place them down, it'll have less effect on you when it does hit, and just keep rinse and repeating, we'll try and get him low, there you go, one low enough. There you go, dead again. And that's it, guys. Just do that until you get 15 of them. It couldn't be any easier. And as I said before, everybody in the team will receive the commendation. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope this has uh, helped you out. If it has, please hit that like button. I aim for like 10 likes per video. Really appreciate it. And uh, do check out my channel. I've got loads of hints and tips videos. I'm going to be doing loads in the future. I uh, stream every single weekend helping with subscribers. You can actually see a stream I've just done recently helping. Uh, well, in March, I've helped uh, 47 people get the happy mask. I've helped 35 people get the piggy mask along with some great friends like Dave here, Paul, uh, and others. Uh, I've getting loads of support lately on the channel. Just check it out, guys. Uh, but until the next video, thank you for watching, and peace out.